Sheryl Sandberg, Chief Operating Officer of Facebook, her LeanIn.org campaign, Together Women Can, kicks off today, and it's all about celebrating women supporting each other. And I talked about her with that and how she's made it through what's been an extremely difficult year. Together, we can raise our voices. Together, we can stand up to anything and anyone. Together. Call it the Sandberg effect. When women lean in together, we accomplish amazing things. Let's lean in. Let's lean in. Let's lean in. Together. Women at the top of their fields lending their voices to support Sheryl Sandberg's new campaign, Together Women Can. This campaign is celebrating the women who have helped each other and how we continue to help each other. We see all the time women supporting other women. And I think there's a myth out there that women don't, and it's not true. And I think that those myths do exist, that women are there to tear each other down, they're competing with one another. Why do you think those myths exist and that culture exists? I think it's also expectations. When two men have a disagreement at work, they're having a substantive disagreement. When two women have that same disagreement at work, it's a cat fight. And so we need to understand that women can speak with strong voices and that doesn't make them mean. How can women help other women? There are small, everyday things women can do to help other women in the workplace. Men get credit more easily for their ideas than women. So coming to the table and saying, this was a great project and this was based on Amy's idea is another way we can celebrate each other. Together Women Can is the latest mission from the Facebook COO and Disney board members Lean In organization. The mother of two also talking about coping after the sudden loss of her husband Dave Goldberg last May. You have been very open and very honest in sharing the professional struggles you've been through as a woman. I know this last year you've had incredible personal struggles as well. I want to ask how you're doing. I'm doing better. It's a struggle. You know, I miss Dave still. but. I know I don't have any choice other than to keep going. And I keep going because I look deep and I find the resilience inside myself, not every minute and every day, but as much as I can. And by being open and being vulnerable and sharing pain and heartbreak, you help others get through a very similar circumstance. I'm sure you've heard from women around the world. It's been a challenge. I don't think I naturally would have been as open about this, but once this happened, everyone knew and I didn't really have that much choice. There, are so many people who are struggling with something in their lives and we get through it by leaning in together. What have you learned about yourself since you decided to lean in? I learned a lot and I think after I lost my husband I went through another phase of really having to dig deep and find the belief in myself that I could keep going, that I could uh, you know, do function as a single mother, that I would be able to do my job and take care of my children. And, you know, I have resources others don't have, and I'm aware of that, and I'm grateful for that. And I think we need to do a much better job supporting single mothers, because there are so many out there who need our help. What's your greatest hope for this campaign? My greatest hope is that we will recognize what's already happening, which is that women are supporting other women. We will celebrate the women who are helping us. We will get rid of the myth that women are other women's worst enemies, because they're not. Mm -hmm. And we will start celebrating leadership in women and little girls everywhere. We are all on the same team. Now, Cheryl says that if the current trend continues, women will achieve parity with men in top corporate positions in about 100 years. She says women cannot wait that long, and that's why women have to act now to support one another. And men, we need your help, too, by the way.